I don't know if anyone's going to like relate to this or um, understand what I'm trying to say, but I'm just passionate about it and it like really upset me and so I want to talk about it. I am in a Facebook group page. Like I follow along the police page of my old hometown. Not my hometown, but the last city that I lived in, in my home state. Um, and it is a city that is, you know, very high in crime and murders and drugs and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a rough city right now in most areas of it. And I used to live in a very bad neighborhood, so I have always just followed the page for updates and just to know what's going on. But they posted the other day about a man who got released. Okay, so basically they have to post when anyone gets released with a previous sex offense. This convicted sex offender was released and they posted where he's living just to tell the, just to let people know. And I see a lot of these posts on that police page. The comments are just filled, filled with people bashing that person, calling him a piece of crap, calling these people just pieces of crap. Just saying the worst things, saying that they shouldn't be let free, they shouldn't this or that. And while I get that people worry about their safety, they worry about their kids' safety, um, it breaks my heart for these people that get released and don't take me wrong I know that what they did was wrong I know that what they did was terrible it was sick but you have to remember we as Christians need to hate the sin not the sinner because I'm a sinner you're a sinner and I look and I see all these people comment on these posts terrible things imagine being this man we all struggle with different things we all struggle and i can't imagine if what i did was just blasted on facebook and everyone could see the mistake that i made and all those people talking trash and don't don't get me wrong i understand what he did was terrible but all sin is the same in god's eyes this person this guy is a child of God. This guy was made in the image of God. And it's not him, it's the sin. It's not him, it's the enemy has a hold on him. And I had commented on that post because I was just kind of torn up about it. I commented, I said, I'm genuinely praying for this man that this is the chance that he needed. Sin is sin, we all mess up. He deserves a second chance. And I'm praying that God changes his heart and he accepts God's grace and forgiveness and starts a new life for him. So many people came at me and it doesn't even matter, but it just breaks my heart. Everyone is in need of a savior, just the same as you are. Whether you have a past or not, whether you've killed someone or not, whether you've stolen from a store or not, like you are in need of a savior just as much as people that get posted on the police scanner to let people know that they've been released. I'm no better than that person. Just like the man right next to Jesus on that cross. Getting hung on a cross for whatever he did was so bad that he was hung up on a cross next to Jesus. But still Jesus said, I will see you in paradise. I'm sorry, but this guy, this offender that got released, he could be going to paradise and maybe you won't. I'm just saying, it's true. I don't know if this makes sense, but... I just wonder what the world would look like if we loved people more and if we saw that we are all we're all the same we all struggle with different things we're all sinners we all need God and this guy he deserves to live in freedom of what Jesus did for him just as much as I do and so while I hope he doesn't make the same mistake that he did I pray that he doesn't I'm happy that he was released. I'm happy that he has the chance to make a new life for himself. But we read in the Bible that we're fearfully and wonderfully made, that God has plans for us, that God created us with a purpose. God created that man with a purpose. And God has plans that he wants this man to fulfill. And this man has a testimony that could be, you know? 
I don't know why I'm so emotional about this. But like, I wish I could go to this man and give him a hug. I, don't, I know that he's a sex offender. I know that he made those mistakes. But I just want him to know that Jesus died on the cross for him. And that he has the chance to live in freedom. And like, to be honest, I really don't care what people say. My job here on earth is to love God and to love people and to reflect God's love. And to think, like to think that some of us get to live in that freedom, but some of us don't. Like this, like that's what I was talking about in my passion video too. Like I just wish that everyone truly knew what God did for them and truly knew the freedom that they could live in. I wish every single person knew. I wish I could tell that guy. You know, and that's why we need to share the gospel. Imagine if all of us Christians went out and prayed over people and just fearlessly shared what Jesus has done. Imagine there would be less sex offenders. There would be less people in jail. There would be less people stealing. There would be less people sex trafficking. But us Christians are so scared to step out and share the truth with people. Share the one thing that will help people. Share the one thing that changes lives, that frees people, that saves people. We're too scared to do that because we don't want to get judged. Meanwhile, people have all these chains on them that could be broken if we would share the truth with them. That's why like passion just wrecked me because I realized and I was so convicted about the truth that I know that some people don't have the chance to know. And sometimes I still walk away from reading the Bible. I take it for granted. I don't know, I feel like that's enough rambling, but basically I just want to say, just love everyone. And whatever is in the Bible that you say God says about you, God says about those people too. God says about every single person on earth. Love on people. Reflect God's love. You know? I don't know. That's all I have for today.